Hi all. This quick tutorial will show you how to download the free Marvin Suite and uh, use it to create your different models for um, organic chemistry. So as you can see here, I'm on the Marvin Suite download page. Um, it does uh, give some terms of usage which you have to accept before you can download. Um, the other thing it does here is it does uh, let you know what you get for free. Um, really all you need is Marvin Sketch, but Marvin Space and Marvin View are kind of neat for being able to uh, look at um, different atoms in different ways, or different uh, molecules in different ways I should say. Um, however, you'll notice down here functionality requiring additional licenses, there's a calculator plugin and name to structure and all of that, which you won't need for what we're doing. So just go ahead and get the free version. Um, of course, you may be using a Mac or a Windows, or some of you even Linux. Um, just choose whichever one you want here. And once you've done that, all you need to do is um, just click the Download Marvin Beans button. Um, it's going to ask you to set up an account. Um, this account is, uh, is free, as I mentioned, but um, it is required to be able to download the software. And when you click the registration button, it does give you some uh, information um, in terms of what uh, what that involves. If you don't like the uh, the requirements, um, you don't have to do this. Um, really, the only personal information you leave is an email address, just so that you can uh, get your download link. So once you've installed it, the program that you're going to want to open is Chem sketch, or sorry, Marvin sketch. And it's a very simple looking interface. Um, you can see here it's just basically a blank canvas and some uh, very simple looking tools. Majority of the time it's going to be this guy that you're going to be using, uh, which just creates a single bond, although you can turn it into double bonds. So let's start by creating um, just a simple propane uh, uh, molecule. So propane, it's pro, um, which means three, and pain, or ain, which means single bond. So what I'll do is I'll just click here, and you'll see right away I get two. I'll click on the end of one, and I'll get my third one. And just like that, I've now drawn propane. Um, if I wanted to make this uh, propene, all I need to do is just highlight the bond, one of the bonds, and see, uh, click on it again, and you'll see it's uh, changed to a double bond. And again, if I click on it again, I can change it to a triple bond or a single bond. And you'll notice that the hydrogen number changes as I, uh, as I do that. If I'd like to make a branched um, molecule, um, for example, if I just extend this a little bit, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, so this is pent uh, pentane, and I wanted to make this uh, uh, maybe th three methyl pentane, I can click there and it will. Um, it will add my extra branch. Um, really, that's all there is to this. If you want to, you can actually um, highlight and copy this. So if I just grab my little copy tool, I can highlight it. Um, and if I just want to create a graphic that I can paste into my Moodle page or to an assignment or into a Word document, all I need to do is just under my edit, <coughs> choose copy as, and you'll see there's a whole bunch of options that you can choose. Um, if I'm just putting it into a, um, a Word file, I'm just going to choose JPEG image. And now, as long as I have somewhere to paste it, like into Word, all I need to do is uh, right-click and paste, and you'll see that my molecule appears right there. Um, if you would like to uh, render your mo molecule as an actual um, diagram, you can do that. Um, if you look on your um, edit menu, um, or sorry, on your view menu, you'll see that you have, oops, let's try that again, in my view menu, you'll see you do have a lot of different ways to look at it, but if I just choose open Marvin space, it will actually open up a new program and right away you can see there's my ball and stick diagram 
that I can move around. Um, for any or any time you want to hand any of these in as a um, as a file, you can just do that by choosing under File, Save As, and um, just when you choose your file format, um, just make sure that you're going to choose the MDL MOL file, the .mol file. Um, the reason uh, we choose the MDL MOL file is because Moodle will actually understand that natively and render it directly onto the page. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask your teacher. There, this is uh, not a required tool, but it's something that might help you to do your work.